I want to share a pilot program which I thought was so interesting. It uses pharmacists as a means to deliver health care. It is being run by USC and uh, Altamed, which is a series of clinic which serves mainly low-income uh, areas. What they've discovered is that people with chronic conditions, people with things like diabetes or obesity, uh, people who may not trust the medical establishment relate to pharmacists and that they're being helped. Uh, the problem might be cost. Uh, this is an idea, first of all, that is being tried in several states. Um, in the long run, it saves money in the sense that it avoids a lot of expensive medical procedures. In the short run, there is the added cost of the pharmacist and also of the meds because people take more meds. In California, pharmacists can bill for medical services, but that is not so in other states. There's a bill that's trying to be introduced in the Congress, uh, allowing pharmacists to bill. However, the critics say that that would increase the cost to the Affordable Care Act, and of course they don't want that. I remember as a child being raised in a third world country how my father, who was a pharmacist, was, uh, 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 del did deliver medical services because there was such a shortage of doctors. People were always coming to him, even to our house, to ask for help. But it is more than nostalgia, and it is more than my bias because of my father. It does seem that it is an idea that is really worthwhile. When you, particularly when you consider that there is a shortage of um, primary care physicians and that that shortage is slated to be even higher in the future. So I hope that they find a way to handle the funding issue. Thank you for listening. I'm Danielle Levy.